Welcome to Politics Watch JA. I want to say happy independence to Jamaica and big up to all the people them that was born before Jamaica got independence in August 6, 1962. I, I am a post independence person and them say Andrew Olness. I want a youngest prime minister to become prime minister of Jamaica and he's a post independence prime minister. Anyway, when you come on to independence, well, there's a lot of views. Jamaica formally got independence August 6, 1962, but a lot of persons think that we are still not independent. They think that we are actually dependent on other countries. For food, influence, trade, tourism, all type of things. So, we're going to talk to Mr. Logix and find out his views on Jamaica's independence. As a matter of fact, Jamaica 61. Mr. Logix, talk to your viewers and subscribers. Yes, big up to our viewers and our subscribers, listeners. Big up to everyone. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share on the Politics Watch the channel to your friends and family and community. So big up people, big up to everyone and happy independence as well. Alright. So Mr. Logics, did you celebrate Jamaica Independence 61 this year? Well, I've never celebrated independence before. I have no interest in celebrating independence because in my opinion, we're not independent. And why is a Jamaica not That's independent? Just a part. Why is a Jamaica, Jamaica is a not independent? Is, Jamaica is a country that um, is not free from control not free from influence they are not free from support or aid they are actually dependent on foreign nations for all these things no but mr logics people other persons will argue say jamaica have them make them own decision when it come on to politics in terms of the other day andrew Willis wanted to change the 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 constitution to amend DPP retirement age from six to sixty to sixty five, possible seventy, and yeah. him never did have to go to anybody. Him just write to the governor. He not him consult the opposition. Him just write to the governor general. No, him went to parliament, the senate, and the, and the, and the MP them vote for in a parliament. Once he get that the approval, him write to the governor general, and and the constitution change. So isn't that independence? Uh, no, I, I don't think that has really has a lot to do with independence. Well, I think that is a national um, national situation regarding politics, right? But independence is more overall the country itself having certain um, freedom, right, regarding national, nationalism or patriotism. Freedom like, um, what you call, freedom of choice. Freedom of expression, yeah, freedom but... of um, um, the right to live within a um, secure society. That is also one of the reasons why we're not independent, because Jamaicans are living in fear. Part of being independent also means that you must have the right, the freedom or right, to live within a secure country, right? Where you don't have to fear criminals or the criminal elements. That's also affect our independence, the crime rate in Jamaica. So what you are telling me, saying, other countries don't have crime and violence? Yeah, other countries have crime and violence, but remember that Jamaica is always ranked top three for the highest murder rate in the world. Yeah, but if you look funny it too, Jamaica have a justice system that works. We have um, yes, court... Jamaica, you have Jamaica a court... Has a justice system it's a logic. that works, yes. Repeat yes, that. Jamaica has a justice yeah, Jamaica has a justice system that works, but it needs more resources though. You need more resources. Yeah, and, not a lot of resources. So when and that means that when I said resources, I mean we need more court, courthouses and more judges, right? You can't have one courthouse for each parish, basically, in outside of Kingston. And I think that them they, they, them need to change over the record from Unwritten to um to digital, so right. most things can pick up in a system quicker and faster. That is why we have a lot of backlog of cases because um one judge has to be dealing with so many cases, and there's only 
one um basically parish court um for most of the parishes that's 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 um unheard of and also we hear where it transcript them of cases when a person wants to do appeal, the transcript take a long while. Yeah. yeah. But what I say still, you have to look upon it still. Remember, Jamaica rank high in a press freedom. Because most of the stuff, sure. most of the stuff them we can talk from politics watch and in a traditional media, a lot of countries can't do that. So that but shows that we... that Jamaica actually does. Yeah drop um in the press freedom rankings since this year which is the lowest they have ever been ranked it's still a high thick, um, number but jamaica is normally within the top 10 press freedom rankings every year jamaica is at the top 10. this year jamaica dropped outside of the top 10 for the first time in a long while which is not good news it all it, it, it does show that the government is is actually trying to have too much control trying to censor individuals yes, and, so and different individuals and media houses right okay. and the way how the, the, the information minister robert morgan right the way how he behaves um in front of the media um is not a true representative of somebody that should be information minister he's very authoritative and he, he comes across as dictating okay but in terms of the whole politics in a jamaica do you think jamaica is independent do you, do you think that Jamaican politics is been is independent of other countries, organization, institution like matter like IMF, World Bank, USA, China, you know, the politics? Yeah, no, they are not um, because um, our politics, right, generally um, depend on these institutions, financial institutions, for help for aid over the years. And when you're getting aid and help from the IMF, the World Bank, you're getting aid from America for economic um, development as also for climate change, aid from England um, for also economic um, development. It shows that you're not independent as well. Because we, if without these aid, without the aid that Jamaica um, gets from these countries, the country will be worse off. No, but if you get aid and grant, that no means say uh, um them countries that influence your political process are. But they do, they do behind the scenes. Cause if what they're giving, no one gives away anything free without conditions applied. There's always some conditions there. No, but what may I say still, when time election are call, Jamaicans them get a chance to vote for who they want to represent them. Yeah, they do. Vote for who they want to represent them, which is correct. That is independence. Again, we, that is, um, yes, that is a form of independence. Uh, the right, because form of independence is to give us the right to vote, right? The right to vote, which is a form of being independent. But then there are other rights that are not being realized, right? Um, we also have within the constitution the right for everyone to, to, so the right for everyone to be educated, the right to education, and the right to um basically have a successful livelihood based on the fact that you are getting um you get a good education that's one of the problems in our country where most of our um people right did not realize that right to education because jamaica has a large section of the society that is actually illiterate and not educated but the jamaican government now offer free education up to the university level no, not even up to the university level, up to high school, but... Up to high school, Jamaican sorry. The Jamaican government, that is just um, uh, what you call a part, right? Because guess what? The Jamaican government is saying education is free, but the schools out there are charging exuberant auxiliary fees. That is actually worse than school fees. So while the government is saying education is free, you have high school out there, many high school, and we have heard this on news every year, charging over $50,000 for auxiliary fees. The principal are saying that these fees are needed because the government are not, is not providing any um, compensation or fee to the school for them to take care of other activities in the school. So if the government is not providing um, funding to these schools across the country, then the schools basically will need to raise um, money. And by doing that, they're saying um, no students will be allowed to come to the school unless they pay auxiliary fees. 
All right, so let me ask you. Yeah. The other day, Jamaica. The other day, Jamaica and USA um have a dispute over over um a, a diplomat wanting to bring in a a, a, a a spouse that the claim was homosexual and Jamaica denied um that diplomat the 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 the, the right to do that. Doesn't that show that Jamaica is independent? Um, I, I don't think so because they're, I don't think that's a sign that Jamaica is independent because guess what, we don't know the outcome of that situation right now. There's, there's another outcome that people are expecting. No, but there, right? but, and but, but, Jamaica to back back on the issue. but remember say, um, Jamaica, Jamaica government to the, the foreign affairs minister and the US embassy come out and say, we still have good relationships. Despite yeah. the, 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 that, is the... Why, that is why there's a lot of confusion regarding that matter. So, um, the, I would not use that as an example of Jamaica being independent. And the other, the other issue, um, persons are saying why we are also not independent is, um, as I said before, the issue of crime. And then we have a problem with the issue of um, um, universal adult um, free health, right? Where Everybody's supposed to have access to free health, um, irrespective of what the type of sickness is. That is not the case in Jamaica. Free health is only accessible to the society for certain type of sicknesses. And if you if you decide to have certain type of cancer or you have certain type of sickness, right? Uh, some Jamaicans will say, may God help you because when you go to the hospital, the hospital is going to say the government does not give this... Um, this type of treatment as free and no public hospital actually offer that treatment. So guess what? You will have to go to the University Hospital of the West Indies where you have to pay millions of dollars. So that's another farce, the free health. So what may I say still, Jamaica is independent because Jamaica can do trade with the United States while doing trade with China. A matter of fact, yeah. China build roads to Jamaica and uh, and. USA is providing grants. The other day, um, Andrew Owens get thirty-one million dollar from from United States, and then United States also said so they might give a hundred million to the Caribbean. So, to to be able to trade and do have good foreign affairs relationships with both USA and America at once, show that we are independent. Yeah, it shows that we are. Um, we have some form of independence, but not much. It just so it shows. But well, it also shows that even though we are doing trade with both countries, we are dependent on both countries' investment into our country in order to actually progress. So the Chinese are not doing these roads for free. There are always conditions applied. There, the government is giving them a lot of the. The, 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 the resources of the country, like the beaches, and that is also another issue where Jamaicans are saying that it is affecting our independence, where, mo where all the beaches that were free and open to the public, have, most of those beaches have now been sold, right, to the highest bidders, a lot of those persons being Chinese, because they, in return for free roads, free roads, the Chinese are, have been offered a lot of investment on the North Coast. Free um, lands, free Free, free, free beaches for them to build up hotels and, and apartments. So there's always some conditions applying. Um, the other day, we hear Jacqueline Charles as a Jamaica become a mini superpower because of Andrew Oldness and how the country is becoming economically viable. We see a lot of investors are coming to the country, tourism a boom. So... It appears as if Jamaica is becoming more dominant in a Caribbean because a independence of the leader, which is Andrew Wallness and him and him and, and him member of parliament and ministers. And that was a paid for article, not true. Not true? The only the only thing about Jamaica that is dominant in the Caribbean is Jamaican culture. Okay. That's the only thing. Our culture is what um, um, is what dominant in the Caribbean because the rest of the Caribbean 
they, they love Jamaican food, cuisine, and most of all, they love Jamaican music. So that's our culture is what is dominant within the Caribbean, and it has nothing to do with the government. Our culture is just our culture that people from time to time in the society produce good music, good food. The rest of the Caribbean love it, right? And the rest of the world also um, love our music and our food. So that is what actually make us well-known, and in our athletes as well, it's also part of that, our sport. Okay. So, let me ask you, in terms of the economy, you think Jamaica economy is doing well? Um, no, I don't think it's doing well. I just, uh, what I think is that the economy can do way much better, but it's not doing well given the continuous low wages. So, why unemployment is down um it doesn't make sense that you have low unemployment at the moment and low wages at the same time because what happened is that persons are not able to live um um high standard enjoy a, 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 a good livelihood because they are high standard of living from a high standard of living right that's the word i was for high standard of living because it's um mouth to hand right are hand to mouth. That's the type of living most Jamaicans are doing. Hand to mouth. So they 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 are just eating. They are just working to pay bills and actually um buy um buy something to eat or cook something to eat to put in their stomach. And a lot of they have to make other sacrifices. So you don't find where Jamaicans um can go all across the world and enjoy themselves on vacations. They don't. We can't. The only Jamaicans that enjoy vacations are the Jamaicans that are overseas. Um, working. They are the ones that come here and and actually book out the hotels. The majority of our locals, it's a disgrace, the majority of Jamaicans can't even afford a one-night stay at one of our resorts. Oh, what, and what, Mr. And Mr. That, that, that's a testimony to when you, when you find the majority of the country can't even afford a night at a hotel, right? You know what that suggests? It suggests that the majority of the country is actually dirt poor. Dirt poor. Right. Yeah, but Mr. If you check all the countries in Europe and in North America, you'll find that those people in those countries can always are working enough to spend a night at a hotel. Jamaican can. Yeah, but it's a logic. If you look at it, Jamaica is a developing country. You have, have um developing, but Jamaica has been a developing country for the last for the last thirty forty years. It's now time. Jamaica should not be a developing country right now. It's time for Jamaica to be a developed. It should be the past developed country um not developing where we going to go make we jamaica is going to continue to be a developing country for the next one million years one million years <laughs> no yeah, but remember say see that, remember say um jamaica gdp it debt to ratio it's still low it, 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 uh, i think a 74 now from 120 so jamaica still a a, a, a try to reduce the debt and to, and that's not reflecting on the GDP. For example, Jamaica is a bigger country than Trinidad, right? And we have three million people. Jamaica, um, we have three million people. Trinidad have one point five million people. So we have twice the population of Trinidad and Tobago, right? And guess what? Trinidad has a bigger GDP than Jamaica. But Trinidad guess have natural resources. They they have oil, but guess what? It's not the oil that propels Trinidad as a great um give a greater economy than Jamaica. What propels Trinidad is that Trinidad manufa manufacturing industry is much better than Jamaica. Okay. And it said to me, it is always said that the manufacturing um, um, companies in Jamaica, um, in Trinidad, they are, are they are they are actually of a higher quality than the manufacturing companies out here. For example, the, it is a disgrace, but Jamaica is responsible for that, you know. Jamaica plays a big role in that. You know why? Why? Jamaica take Jamaica takes over 800 billion worth of goods from Trinidad per year. Over 800 billion. That was said by Carson Wood, right? Over 800 billion right, of goods we take from Trinidad. You know how many goods Trinidad take from us? Trinidad only take 200 and odd billion worth of goods. Okay. So there's a, that's a $600 billion difference. If you go into the supermarket, most of the snacks and the drinks, they're all from Trinidad. Yeah, but that that also shows that Jamaica also have trade. 
with other countries. Yeah, that's that's true. So Jamaica is independent. The trade deficit, the trade deficit right? Um, and the manufacturers in Jamaica are carrying out because they're saying the government needs to do something about it because but that's not put more top levy on Trinidad and goods where purses where our consumers here will find it hard to buy their goods because the government put tax levies on them which made the goods more expensive and made the Jamaica one cheaper so that we'll buy the Jamaica one. It's the same thing that China does. And Trump came in when he was president of America and he had a problem with China. He was saying that China made their goods cheap in order to run US business, US um, entrepreneurs and business first out of actually out of business. And what he does, what he did was to put a lot of tax levies on Chinese goods, Chinese goods in order for them to be more expensive and the American consuming market or consumer market will actually purchase American goods. Yeah, but in terms of social now, Jamaica independent um, in terms of culture, food, um, heritage, music, sports. Jamaica is independent? Well, um, I don't normally link independence to all of those things, but regarding all those, though, the fact that we, first, as I mentioned, sports, we we are independent in most sports except one. Which and one? That, that's cricket. Cricket. Because we don't, we, 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 we are represented um, at the highest level by a Caribbean team. Right? Um, for Jamaica to become truly independent in sports, Jamaica would have to go it alone. They would, so, they would have to drop um, West Indies cricket and have Jamaica cricket team by itself compete at the international level. So, sports, um, we are still tied with cricket at the highest level. Um, another form of independence that we don't have is that Jamaica is going to want to make TCG their, their last um, appellate court, court of appeal. Yeah, appellate court. I don't agree with that. Jamaica should have it. For Jamaica to be too independent, Jamaica should have its own um, court, um, last court of appeal. Right? So that's also one. Um, for other areas with music, um, well, it is now being said that most of the persons that have been winning Grammy, regular Grammy Awards over the years have not been Jamaican. So there's an old cry that the rest of the world has taken away reggae music from us and are actually winning the awards. Okay. No, but what may I say? Yes, so we're losing, we're losing a lot of um, our, our, our culture and our um, to, to, to overseas and foreign nations. Okay. So in terms of Jamaica becoming, because um, Andrew Wallace and his administration set up a constitutional committee for um, change Jamaica from being a monarch to a republic. Um, isn't that a form of showing that they want independence? Well, they already get independence, but they want to be a republic. Yeah, it is, it is a step for, for them to show that, hey, we are not um, 100% independent. So being, becoming a republic would give us um, a small step in the right direction of being even um, more independent from our colonizers. So uh, let me ask you, Mr. Logics, you think Jamaica would have been better off being under the British monarch or they are better off being independent? They would. They would have been better off. There's no doubt about it. When Jamaica was under the British monarch, um, the, the facts are there. When Jamaica was under British rule in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, Jamaica was ranked as the richest country in the Caribbean, the pearl of the Caribbean, under the British monarch. When, once, when Jamaica gets independence in 1962, Jamaica started to drop um, the economy started to fall off. It, uh, it shows that the country was not ready for independence and leaders that were there trying to fight for independence, they were not, they were not ready for the change or for the, the handover um, from the British colonizers. They actually weren't ready and the fact they weren't ready means that they did not do, do much to keep the economy afloat because the, the, the UK or England gave Jamaica, gave our Jamaican leaders um, on Independence Day, the richest country in the Caribbean, the top economy in the Caribbean, and the pearl of the Caribbean, right? The Jamaican leaders got that, Alexander Bustamante. But after that, they were not able to sustain um, 
managing the, the, the country affairs. And that is why I said to you, um, in our previous videos um, that I've said in more than one, corruption, if it wasn't for corruption, Jamaica would have been a developed country. But our greedy politicians have caused Jamaica not to be independent today. Are truly independent? Are truly independent, I should say. That's the word, truly independent. So but without uh, corruption, they have actually... So what you find, Jamaica is a, is a um, type of society where you find a lot of people are very rich and wealthy at the top of the ladder. A lot of those persons who are rich and wealthy are, are, are so because they're involved in corruption. Many of them are politicians. And then you find there's a lot of persons at the bottom of the, of the social ladder. So you find that the country, um, there's a high level of inequality within the country. So, let me just um, um, summarize this. Your fee said Jamaica should have stayed with the British monarch and not seek yes, independence. Yes, they should have stayed until they are ready. Yeah, they should. If Jamaica did stay, just like, remember that Cayman, they, they are still under the British rule, Turk and Caicos and some small islands. And guess what? It's those small islands that many Jamaicans are running to to have to seek a better life. So it, it, the fact suggests that all the countries that are still under the British monarchy, right, or the British system, they are actually first world countries. Okay. So um, in terms of the economy now, you think Jamaica could have survived two weeks without the Chinese, Chinese businesses? Suppose the Chinese them decides to them close them. All Chinese in Jamaica are closing business for two weeks. You think Jamaica economy could have survived? No, they wouldn't. Because most, in fact, over 90% of all the, the small businesses in Jamaica, supermarkets, wholesales, stores are owned by Chinese. Owned by Chinese? Yeah, so the Jamaica would collapse. So and the small businesses are, is responsible for, for basically a huge in, um, bulk of employment um, sector in Jamaica. Okay. So, in terms of the, 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 the passing around of money, because people say time hard and everything now. You feel say, um, people are seeking employment, self-employment, more than working for lower wages. You feel say that a reflection of independence or self-sufficiency. I think it's self-sufficient, and even though people are trying to seek in their own um, self-employment, it's not um, something that is actually felt in the economy. And one of the reasons I think is the banking system in the country. So a lot of persons are willing to be self-employed and do, and they are willing to grow their business, but the bank are not giving them any loan to propel their business. So, so we I can testify after that experience. So, so what do you think the banking system has stifled the country? Yes, that's also part of the problem. The banking system has been stifled in the country. And you will worse if a person, worse if a person has bad debt. Okay. The and you will and in, in the US, for example, for example, in the US, um, no matter the amount of bad debt you have, credit bad debt, banks are still willing to lend you money just to, for you to be successful. All right, we have to go check on the one, Mr. Logics. But when I say Andrew Wellness, I just want to tell you, Jamaica 61 now, you need to make the bank them stop holding the economy ransom and make profits off of the, off of the, the, the Jamaican citizens them and not lowering the interest rate so that the economy can grow bigger and faster. Mr. Logics. Talk to viewers and subscribers before we leave. Yes, yes, big up to everyone again and thank you for liking, subscribing to our um Matic Plus G channel. Also guys remember to use up the comment section and also encourage your friends, your families to do the right thing and subscribe, share um our channel for the best in local affairs and politics. So we say Mr. Logic, Jamaica is not independent. No, they are not. Okay. Independent. All right, viewers and subscribers, more to go in the comment section and tell me what you think Jamaica, Jamaica is independent, dependent, or semi independent, or whatever you think Jamaica is. Just go in the comment section and make we know. We talk again, Mr. Logics. Yes.
Kawan, bingung.